Welcome back. We're into hour 23 of our Game of Thrones marathon. We're in season four. There's dragons. Uh, you've probably seen different people turn into they were enemies, became friends, became enemies, became family, became siblings, became enemies. This is my limited knowledge of Game of Thrones because I've never watched the show. I tried reading the books, tried watching the show. I know I'm in a small minority of folks that haven't seen it. I'm sure you feel as passionately about my feelings for Game of Thrones as you do about many other things. Please tell us what you think. Welcome back. I am holding possibly one of the more interesting instruments. I'm not just talking just guitar. I'm talking instruments. I used to play the tenor saxophone. I played a bass clarinet. I've heard, carried grand pianos. I've never carried a grand pianos, but you know what I'm saying. Of all the instruments, not just guitar related, this is possibly one of the most interesting instruments I've ever laid hands on. Can I tell it's a master built instrument? From the second I put it in my hands, yes. Whose fault is that? I'm going to tell you his name. His name is Ron Thorne. Are you familiar with that name? Are you familiar with Mr. Thorne's work? We are. Have you checked out any of his... Uh, he has a great Instagram account. He's been building guitars for many, many years. He's been pouring bits of himself into his instruments for many, many years. And the minute I hold this, I can tell that someone who absolutely cared about the end result put that level of intensity and, and attention to detail into their work. Mr. Thorne, thank you. We got to meet you uh, a couple years ago at NAMM and you could not have been a lovelier dude. Uh, so sweet to Ellie who works here at the shop and, and, uh, and, and uh, we just loved meeting you and loved knowing that we were, these were on their way to us. They are now here. This is the House Lannister Jaguar. Say it again, Jaguar. I mean, come on. I just got a quick lesson, uh, as I need to be reminded often how these things work. I got a really quick lesson on the, uh, the, the controls of the Jaguar. House, Lannister, Game of Tones. That's what we're calling this segment. You knew it was going to get stupid. Okay, so I want to leave um, my pickups active all the time, so my switch is going to be down. If I'm up here, these are my tone and my volume, but let's get out of that. I've got a volume control much more fenderish, so I know what I'm doing. Volume control, I'm going to leave that high, that high cut uh, in the down position. It's called south. If you're traveling south on your steed. I know nothing about Game of Thrones, so you guys get to fill me in. But I can turn the pickups on individually. I can have my bridge pickup only. I can have my neck pickup only. I can have both off, both on. Let's, let's do some neck. And I was trying to do Game of Thrones, but blues, like a Robert Cray version of Game of Thrones. Let's hear how this dirties up. Tarantino made a Game of Thrones movie, what would it sound like? This! <laughs> you sick of me yet? Thought so. Let's move to the next guitar. This is also in the Game of Thrones series by our friend Mr. Ron Thorne. This is the House Lannister. No, this is the Tag Targaryens. Told you I knew everything about them. Um, this is Targaryen Strat. So the other thing that I mentioned earlier about, can you tell that this is a master built instrument? Yes, right away. It's the feel of this neck. It's like Ron wanted you to put your hands on the neck and go, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice because that's what I do. The weight of this instrument is totally unlike any other Strat, possibly because he's carved top and back intricately 
I'm assuming these are some sort of feathers or maybe a dragon skin. You tell me. You know more about this than I do. Look at this pit guard. Can camera two see the leather pit guard? I'm telling you, putting your, putting your hands on this guitar is so interesting. I forgot to mention the previous guitar had gold frets. Gold frets. Okay? Strat. Get some volume if I can remember where I was. <laughs> That's the, that's the bridge. like a dub step ska thrones mm, mm, mm. they were on an island right i'm pretty sure most of england in that area were islands or whatever it's island music man so my neck get some Awesome. And totally, yes, I can tell this is a, a master-built instrument. Yes, we play a lot of custom shop guitars, and they don't all feel the same, but they don't all feel like this. And that's you can tell there's a different level of attention um, from Ron. Thank you, Ron. Wrote really cool. Um, 68 Princeton Reverb. It's a silver face. It's a Princeton Reverb. It's, it's, it's like, you know, um, it makes you happy. It's portable. It sounds rad. It's all tube. We play a lot of amps, and they all, from Fender, they really know what they're doing. Still, to this day, they make their own amps really, really well. If you have questions about um, the Game of Thrones duo, because remember, there was a trio. There was a Telecaster. God vanished. The spell was cast. He was never seen from again, heard from. The, the Tar... How do I say it? Targaryen? I've been, I've been uh, approved, I said it right. I told you guys I knew what I was talking about. House Targaryen, House Lannister, Jaguar, Targaryen Strat by Ron Thorne in the Fender Custom Shop. We have these, they're here. Come and get one. We would love to see it go to some massive Thrones fan. Like, seriously, George R R R R R R Martin, R George R R, are you calling? Please, seriously, we would love to hear from you. Um, AGTV, YouTube. Instagram, ring finger. Take care, let's see if I can butcher the theme song just one more time with some, with some dirt. Mm -hmm. 